Primary cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma is a condition that's solely on the skin. It usually will be diagnosed because a large lesion will appear in the skin, usually one alone. And by large, I mean greater than a quarter, so, but sometimes they can be very large. Um, and it's a proliferation of T cells that have a marker on them called CD30, as you might guess from the name. Uh, and usually it does not produce a protein called ALK anaplastic lymphoma kinase, and that distinguishes it from some of the systemic forms of a disease that has the same name and looks the same under a microscope, but is really a different disease. Anaplastic large cell lymphoma is another term to describe a specific subset of lymphomas. Uh, it is a complicated diagnosis because it can occur primarily on the skin, it can occur systemically, or it can occur with a combination. So typically the challenge of diagnosing anaplastic large cell lymphoma is first to ensure that it just involves the skin and there's no systemic therapies. So once a skin biopsy diagnoses a, a cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma, the patient will undergo a series of uh, testing from blood work to scans to ensure that it's just skin-based. Then the anaplastic large cell lymphoma is further classified by a genetic marker, and that the genetic marker is typically seen with a systemic version of it, and it confers a poorer prognosis than just the skin-based lymphoma. So the workup is complex, uh, and patients would best be served by uh, having that workup done with an experienced either dermatologist or oncologist. This lymphoma is part of the CD30 positive lymphoproliferative disorder spectrum. Cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma is the second common type of T cell lymphoma in the skin. It's usually a spectrum of the so-called CD30 lymphoproliferative disorders. On one end is lymphomatoid papulosis, on the other end is cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma. While lymphomatoid papulosis is, is um, usually comes in flares and um, many, many lesions sometimes, the cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma is a single lesion in general. Sometimes um, many lesions can develop, and it, treatment depends really how many lesions you have, how often you get those lesions. Many patients won't have more than one lesion, and a lesion never came back, comes back.